Yo, right, this is Kelly here at the Mangan Village stage at Malasimbo 2016. I'm here with Timothy Vaughn, man. What's up, brother? How's it going, dude? How was the set a while ago? How did it feel? Yo, it was fun, man. Lights and dance, first lights and dance, so I figured I'd, I'd you know, just bring some dance out of people, you know what I mean? Like, come with the grooves, come with the bass lines, that jazz. John Coltrane forever, Five Dog forever, Five yeah. Dog Quest for life. <laughs> you were talking about like times, you know, the timing, yeah, yeah, how yeah. important that is. Yes, yes. A while yes. ago it was sunset, you had something different in mind. Yeah, Coming so, to the evening, you know, tell us about that change process. I found process. out today that my set was at nighttime and, you know, my my set that I prepared earlier was for daytime mm. stuff. Like, I was just coming with some funk, this, like slower disco, some neo soul. And then they told me you're performing at night. I was like, people might be on drugs by then. <laughs> so I got to turn it up, you know? So I came with that, you know, funky jazz house or whatever people want to call it these days, man. So. You have an eclectic background, dude. So tell us about that and tell us how you started with the soul, with the beat thing, beat, beat yeah, making thing. Yeah, uh, well, my back in the 90s, my mom owned a club in Paranaque, which burned down. I don't know if she did it for insurance or something. But, <laughs> but I would be there every night and watch people just boogie, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And her particular crowd was from the 90s, so. They were like us about the 90s. They were like, well, we want the 70s back. So it was just like groove stuff, you know? So, and we moved around because she was an architect as well. So I moved to Dubai, got influenced by Middle Eastern music, moved to England, got influenced by jazz and the garage scene, you know what I mean? Like, spent time in America as well, so that boom bap is always going to be in me, you know? The b boy is always going to be in me. But this is home, you know? So that's why I came back to just gather more, like, influence and inspiration basically. Right? So this is our second year with Radio Republic and how we're going up uh, getting the artists for Mangyan Village. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we get it from the internet, basically people who right. submit songs, put right. up songs. How does it feel like, you know, putting stuff online and that vibe of being independent and putting your music up and with people noticing what you put up online? Yeah, well I call, I call the internet like the, the black hole. Yeah of our generation, you know when they say you can time travel through a black hole, it's the same thing, like you can be in Brazil, I can be in Paris, and we could be making a track together, like just like that, or I could be like just guiding you. There's a lot of people out there who call their like mentors, people they've never met. That's very profound, you know, we live in a very different time, so we gotta act differently, move differently, you know, think differently, I guess. So one last thing, man, how's, um, how do people get in touch with you? Like uh, social? Me up on the internet, you know, search Timothy Vaughn, usually with the word jazz around involved or whatever. Yeah, I'm around, man. That's how I, that's how they found me. So you can find me there too. Like I can find you. <laughs> We're expecting anything from you soon, man. Like coming up. Thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, just I'm just gonna put out more beats this year. You know, I was just refining my instrumentation more, like you know, like going back to basics. Because with the uh, programs these days, you can do anything. Like there's no limit. So that kind of hinders your creativity. Because back then with the NPCs, the the boxes, there's limitations. Yeah. So you were forced to think yeah. outside the box, yeah. the actual box. You know so. Yeah, just I'm, I'm, like I think the last year that's what I've been refining. I've accepted to. I'm just gonna go back to the analog shit. And it's, <laughs> it's great to see your mind work, dude. Yeah, yeah all thank that, you, thank I appreciate you. It's good talking to you. Awesome, man. take it easy, buddy. Thank all right, thank you, thank you, you, you. Thank you.